A U.S. postal worker from Brainerd is behind bars after allegedly making terroristic threats. Our Chelsea Brown is in our Brainerd studio live now to give us an update on this ongoing investigation. Chelsea? Absolutely, Dennis. And authorities told us earlier that the terroristic threats were that were the thing that kind of provided the search for the suspect who was on his delivery route at the time and driving his own vehicle. Officials also learned that the suspect potentially possessed a grenade as well. 58-year-old Robert John Minth of Brainerd was arrested Wednesday on charges of terroristic threats and is a suspect behind this ongoing investigation. It began when the Baxter Police Department received an anonymous call from a U.S. Postal employee around 3 p.m. We believe the anonymous source wasn't at work yesterday. Somehow got the message and reported it, but the officers talked to individuals who were, were there in the morning and did witness or hear statements. Once arriving at the facility, it was confirmed that other employees present also had concerns. Officers decided to follow up on the investigation alongside the Crow Wing County Sheriff's Office. We located the vehicle, the suspect. Um, he made a comment early on that, yes, there was a grenade in the vehicle, but it was a dummy grenade. At that time, officers shut down a two-mile stretch on Highway 25, alerted the Crow Wing County bomb team, and diverted traffic along Thompson Road. Residents along Thompson denied comment on camera, but noticed the increase in traffic outside of their homes, along with about six school buses using the route compared to its usual one. About an hour and a half after the vehicle was initially stopped, the grenade was rendered a dummy. We were very confident right from the start that it was probably a dummy or an inert type object, but, you know, without knowing for sure, the right thing to do was to shut everything down and call in the bomb squad. Just in the interest of safety of everyone involved. The highway was reopened to traffic around 5 p.m. and Mint was taken into custody. The Baxter Post Office Annex refused to comment at this time. And no criminal report has been filed at this time, but the Crow Wing County Attorney's Office expects the suspect to appear in court before 1130 tomorrow morning. All right, thank you very much, Chelsea, for that live report from our branded studio tonight. The Baxter Police Department was assisted by the Crowan County Sheriff's Office, Crowan County Bomb Squad, and U.S. Postal Inspector's Office. The incident remains under investigation. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.